Hey, it's me, Ezra, and I am flying off the cuff here. Now I'm getting back into reviews. I'm going to dive right into this one. Um, I have been using, for a number of months now, products by a fun little slightly entertaining company that you are going to be recognizing, Dr. Squatch. Um, I have to my right here like a whole box of Dr. Squatch stuff. Um, they do not promote this video for me. I am doing this off the cuff, so I get to be brutally honest about the products themselves. Um, Shalane ordered me the six pack. They have this like six pack on their website that you basically get their top six. It included the Bay Rum, uh, Alpine Sage. Um, that's the old school box, by the way, and they have a newer design they've switched to. Um, you can get coupon codes to get their stuff a little bit easier like if you go subscribe to their emails they'll they'll send you 15 percent off coupons 20 percent. they got a father's day sale right now um i don't even know i'm promoting them that much they're not paying for my videos but basically i want to give a brutally honest review about these products now they do make a good soap i'll come right out with it with the price point of about seven dollars a bar that's a, out of a lot of people's reach and probably wondering why I even went and spent the money. Um, it is a good product. My, my skin good gets on the drier sh side. I shower at least two times a day. I know you're not supposed to, but I have to shower once to kind of wake myself up once to, um, get when I get off work, like I surf, so I stink like food and I got to wash the shame off of myself. So I, do like these products. They come in uh, individual bars are seven dollars, but if you do the subscription or you catch them on a good day, you can get a deal. Um, at first, I was doing a lot of like to try to salvage the bar, I was cutting the bars in half. That's like half of a bar because it's like the size of a, it's a square, and um. I was doing that, and what I noticed is some of the soaps are kind of disintegrating in my hand a little quicker than I wanted. Like, they have this cold brew cleanse here. This one, um, it's nice because it is a gritty soap. Um, you can use it to as a scrub. It exfoliates a little bit better because it is a rough grit, but you can't do that with some of them. It, if I, so I started using the full bar. And it's in the shower. I should have got I should have planned this better. But there's like a little wooden block that you can set the soap on. It's actually kind of a pain in the ass to fight it off of. If you are down to like the last bits of uh, your um, bar, you're going to have a hard time fighting it off of there. It's like ridged and stuff. I'll post a picture of it up there. Um, they are good products. Their customer service is decent. I kind of pulled a Karen once because I was pissed that if you don't time your purchases right, you can pay more for something than you wanted. My family likes these soaps. My mom and sister and Shalane all like them. They do... A woman can use them. Like, I mean, it's just... Though they market it towards men, you can use it as, as a woman, of course. I mean, you can use anything you want on yourself, but... The scents are great. They're pine, like pine tar here. They, they, um, they have, I mean, they are, they, they smell really good. They smell better in the shower. They're not as pungent as the bars are themselves. No, I shouldn't say pungent. That's a bad word. Cause like my mom has one sliced in half. She has the aloe one open just to, uh, aromatically bless her room, but they are, Again, kind of pricey, but they do make your skin feel really good. It doesn't dry out the way that cheaper soaps do, but you are paying more, so you have to find that balance. I know there's a lot of other natural soaps out in the market, and I even, where I work, we sell uh, natural soaps, cold-pressed soaps, and my manager's like, why don't you just switch to some of these? And I just hadn't got around to it because I like some of these fragrances. They do do limited-run stuff, which is kind of a marketing ploy but i mean i'm the kind of gotta fall for it because i am a sucker for hype um they had for example uh oh gosh let me dig it out of here real quick because this is where my story starts to take place 
the Irish cream and whiskey. This one right here was very, um, it was released as a St. Patrick's Day fragrance. So like, oh, Irish cream and whiskey. Okay. Well, they didn't end up releasing this one until like maybe a week before. And their processing is quick. They'll get it to you in more than a week, less than two weeks. But you have to pay extra to get it quicker, which everywhere you do. I didn't get it on time, and I was kind of pissed. I actually emailed them and was like, look, check it out. You, I feel falsely, I feel misled. You advertise it as, oh, it's a St. Patrick's Day fragrance. I'm like, I'm not going to get it on time to smell like Irish cream and whiskey. Like, St. Patrick's Day matters that much to me. I know I'm wearing green now, but it didn't. But it was that they advertised it as such. Their advertising campaigns are frustrating to watch because you think, and I told them this, I said, you guys spend... A lot, you spent a lot on Super Bowl advertising. You know how many millions of dollars a 30 second Super Bowl ad costs, but you had ads during the Super Bowl. You got these ads that hit you in your Facebook posts and your Instagram posts, and that gets annoying. Like, that makes me not want to buy stuff. Like, for real. I don't know if you're watching this and you're a marketer. Like, you need to find that balance between, like, all right, that's bugging the hell out of me. Now you're turning me off of your product. And I told them that, and I and the, the they're in they're making shirts, they're making socks, things. I'm like, you know the 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 logo is cute, but not so cute that I'm like, hey, can you just shove that in my face all the time? Like, drop your price and make your product more accessible so that people can all try it more. Stop spending money on clothing, things that don't represent any kind of brand as much. And they do make again a decent product. I have a couple of the deodorants, uh, Birchwood Breeze, and I have Bay Rum in the bath. The Bay Rum smells amazing. But this deodorant, I'll be honest too, um, it was like 12 bucks a stick. You can get it cheaper. I think I did using the subscription program. Great smell. You get a contrast for it not to dry you out. It's not, this is not 24 hour protection. It is barely 12 hour protection. Like, you're going to have to put it on a second time. like, And I sweat like hell at work. There's times I'll put this on right after a shower. Like I'll get off at like 5. I'll shower. I'll put it on. I'll be laying there like 2 in the morning. And I'll put my arms up. And I'm like, whoa, it wore off. Like keep that in mind. Like any natural de deodorant soap or any natural deodorants, they're all going to do that. That's not limited to Dr. Squatch. Like I know that people want to be like hippies. And like I want to be natural. Like a... It's deodorant. That shit's gotta work. Like you gotta, you gotta come correct with, and it smells good. But keep in mind, it doesn't have the strength. The other thing I bought from them that this is pricey, but it's balled out. And now my work does sell candles too. So now that I see that a premium candle does hold a merit, this Bayram candle is out of this world. This thing was eighteen bucks. Now I gotta say. It was worth it on here. Why? Number one, the Woodwick candles are cool. There's another company, the Woodside or Wood, Woodwick. They make Woodwick candles. that They crackle and they burn, and it's a really nice environment it creates. And this one smells good. They don't make a lot of candles, but what they make with candles, they do do it right. Um, now, I can't recommend enough candles being uh, subscribing to like their emails or their uh, text alerts because that's where you're going to get the deals and get the stuff cheaper um they do limited run stuff like they did this um oh lord where did i put it um oh they did these like alien soap bars like this one's made of a uh, they call it nevada sands and like it's, it's not even th these ones that they did you can't even get them anymore i don't even know why i'm like showing them but it was something cool that they did um, I, I was just a sucker for hype and, and I had already had enough soap. Like I already had half of this box full, but you, you look at, and I'll show you here. This is a full size bar here. Like that is really cool looking. Like, I mean, that is, and it's got a nice smell. I have yet to even try that one, but, um, I, I am liking the product. You know, there's this like fine line of, it, it feels like I'm spoiling myself by getting them. I would recommend them, but if you decided not to, I'd understand anybody who said they didn't want to try them. Maybe you're as frustrated as I am seeing the ads come up all the time. They do drop the ball on also like availability of stuff. There's one in here uh, um, that I have wood wood barrel bourbon. I can't even find the the bar right now, but it smells phenomenal. 
and it's sold out and it doesn't they're not good at replenishing their their stock on their website fresh falls was one that i got and i wanted to try but i wanted shalane to have it because she liked the smell of it i have yet to even try it and i won't get to be and then they have other products like you know i hope someone from there watches this because you have all the other parts of the kit based off of a fragrance and you don't re-up the fragrance that you have um that's where i again think that you know maybe as a company dr squatch is a little too distracted with trying to be funny and hip with their ads and spending money on the ads when really why don't you pull the dollars off back off the advertising and the overabundance of things that aren't related to wellness and um cleanliness and go back to the drawing board and and keep keep stock up you know i mean I know that maybe there's a limited run of things on some of the ones they mentioned. They tell you that these space bars are a limited uh, run, but the ones that are going to be up that you made a whole line dedicated to, um, fix, fix fix that problem, you know, pull, pull back off of that. But overall, I don't have like a number, a cool, a cool hip numbering system or nothing because I'm kind of just getting back into reviewing products and such. But Dr. Squatch makes a good solid product. I I haven't tested their satisfaction guarantee, but they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. But they a human will email you back. I'll end on that, that you will get to at least communicate with the human. The email I got back wasn't worded like a robot wrote it. The email I got back was worded as if a genuine human wrote it that cared. And that meant a lot to me. Like, that was really cool. That's why they, they sent me a coupon after I griped about the Irish cream whiskey stuff. After I, I, everything I just told you about, I think they spent too much on advertising, focus on what they should be doing. They listened to it. They sent me a coupon, 20% off, like, my whole order. And that was pretty cool because they didn't have to do that. They could have told me to kick rocks. Like, some companies out there aren't listening to their people, their guests, or their customers. Haha. <laughs> Too much restaurant me, their guests. But let me know if you do in the comments below. Let me uh, first of all co comment comment with a big old Z or multiple a line of Z's for Ezra. Let me know that you watched this all the way through because I really am trying to get some views on the way up. Like this video, share it, subscribe it. Let me know in the comments if you've used Doctor Squatch or if you think there's a better brand I should try. Um, I am open-minded to suggestions, but um, I can only afford so much because I am not sponsored by anybody. I'd like to be one day, and I will sell out in a heartbeat. If there's a company out there that wants me to be their brand spokesman, I'll, I'll get rid of everything by a company if you think you make a better product and you're going to pay me to do it. I'll sell out in a heartbeat. I don't care. I'm not selling and I'm buying into bettering my life. So, that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. You could have watched anybody, but you watched my video, and that means the world to me. So, thank you so much. Um, again, until next time, keep it easy, my Pacos. Deuces and trays.